Hi there, it's Shell and Clint is around here somewhere. So anyways, guys, uh, we are moving on to part two. So let's see, of this fun little envelope book. So um, we're gonna put some fabric, some, I mean some paper, some fabric here. I kind of have an idea. Little journaling card. She did decorate the inside and then the other pieces. So let's go ahead and we'll put some paper down here <coughs> in the background. So let's see see what I have. Um, oh, look what I did. I cut it totally wrong. Okay, we're gonna move on to this one. <laughs> uh, Should have cut the second one into that shape, but I didn't. So we're gonna do. We're going to do this one instead, I tell you guys. Okay, so it's just um, paper and a little tuck spot here. And then she did have some tags in here. Where did I pull them so I could see how to make that? So yeah, she had a couple little tags. Oh, that's cute. A couple little tags in this pocket here. So let's see what we can do, um, see if we want to shellify or whatever, and go from there. So, so really it's just decorating and then we'll come back with the embellishments. So let's see, I do want, um, I think I do want some more watercolor paper. Hope you guys are doing well. You will see this on Saturday, I believe. Okay. Definitely want this. Do I want this behind? We could do that. We could make like a little pocket up there. I think that's. I think I would like to have a pocket. This edge is straight. So I'm just trying to see if I need to cut it down. I do not. But yeah, I think I'm gonna cut that down and make it into a little pocket. I don't have any scissors. I mean, any more that I do. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit shy of that. And we'll make that the pocket part. Okay. But you know what? I think I need to stiffen it up. So I think I'm going to grab some of I'm just gonna grab one of these pieces from my friend Betty and we will um, use that cardstock. Yeah, I think I want the darker, darker side. I'm just going to glue it down just so I have um, some stiffness since I'm making it into a pocket. It sticks good. <laughs> Stuck to my finger. Put it a little flat right there. There we go. Plus that kind of straightened out that little fold. Yeah, I was having so much fun doing this. I thought, well, may as, may as well continue. So, move the phone. So you guys don't have, to. I have to see that. My uh, took a little bit of a break, and saw that my brother got a bread machine. He's been making homemade bread. rip the bottom and then on the top I'm going to go ahead and cut it because it's going um, sorry I'm not going to see that part anyways because it's um, you'll see the top and I need to cut like a little thumb hole thing so but yeah 
So nothing's really happened since the last time I talked to you guys. Which was yesterday, but to me it was just like a minute ago. Well, except for my brother, I guess, making making some um, homemade bread. I guess that happened. Okay, I'm going to make a thumb hole. Just kind of measure it. I felt like it needed a pocket of some sort because of the, the flap, you know. It just kind of felt to me like it needed a pocket. so fun. I'm just having a blast making this. <laughs> it's always so fun when, you know, you kind of recreate and see how they made different things. To, you know, and their gen geniusness. Again, uh, I believe Rhonda, Robin, sorry, Robin Jamariska made this so there's a little bit of white over here I want to cover up at least that's the name I found on it of course we are just using or shellifying it that's just what we do isn't it Okay, so my idea is to, I think I'm just going to slide it in there, and then I'll just go down that edge, and then this edge, so I don't get glue everywhere. Make sure it's kind of in the position I want it to be. up this piece over here it won't slide hopefully yeah I didn't even notice I was cutting the cutting the wrong envelope but it doesn't really matter I don't think There we go. And then we can put a little ticket or a tag in there. So, uh, I don't think she decorated the back of that, but we can. Oh, she left it plain. So, I do have some of this tissue paper. Isn't that fun? I think I will put that there. Grief, Michelle. At least I put everything back where it belongs. Ha, huh, not. <laughs> oh, I tell ya. Okay. Yeah, I think I want, definitely want something here, I think. Here so it doesn't stick down. There we go. I do want to ink this though. It's so white. Could have inked it underneath, but I didn't think about that. There we go. Hope you guys were having a good weekend. Is that right? Yeah, I think you'll see this on Saturday. I hope you're having a good weekend. Do we have any plans for the weekend? No. 
might clean up the yard and hopefully get that one bed that we have planted. Just a few things. We're not going to have a big garden. This didn't work out, but maybe next year. Okay, so that's kind of cute, huh? Okay, where's hers? I did it right, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. Okay, so we're going to put a piece here. We have our piece on in the inside. We have the top piece that she did. Sorry, you guys can't see that. So we have that, that. I need to put the cover on top of that and decorate here. So let's see. Um, maybe a yellow or a green to go with that. And I was thinking about all this paper that I'm pretty sure was from Darcy. Ooh, even a blue. Look at this one. What do you think, Darcy? I you know I love the green, so. Oh, here's a blue. It's darker, which I think I might like better. Okay, talk myself into it. Let's see. Okay. I want to use as much of it as I can, but not waste any of it. Shall we just tear it? We'll tear it. <clears throat> See how bad I am at measuring. You have to kind of move your hand down to wherever you're tearing because otherwise it will slip out from under you. down here, if I kind of tear around the edges, maybe it would work. It always stresses me. Does it stress you guys? When you're ripping, you're just kind of guessing and all that jazz. Okay, let me try it again. Okay, though, because I think I can make it work. Just do just a hair on this side, if I can do it. So tiny, so this is where it's going to slip out from you. If it's going to slip. It's not too bad. I mean. If I kind of straighten that, maybe just a touch. So just right here. That's pretty paper. I think it's going to work. It might kind of go over it just a little bit, but I think it's going to be fine. So I think I do want to ink around the edges because that's kind of what I've been doing. And then, yeah, she has like a little pocket on it, huh? papers to work with from you guys, I tell ya. I appreciate it so very much. 
Yeah, I think that will work, guys. Of course, I forgot to put my thing in there. I'm pretty sure this paper was from Darcy. I think she thought it was from her, too. I don't remember. It's been so long since I got this friendship pack. Okay, I think that will work. Yeah. I want to try to trim it just a little. Okay. Looking good. So, we do still need, oh, still need to do the top, huh? You know what? I love that paper. I think I'm going to try to just do that again. Why not? <coughs> Bitty bit. Okay. Forgot how I was doing it. Oh wait, like this. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best way. Okay, let's just. Do it. Do it, do it. Then I'll just trim around it instead of trying to rip it. Cute. Robin, this is so fun to do. Isn't that fun? Okay. Ink again. She put like something kind of big there. Let me show you. So kind of like, hmm. And then this is, oh, it's a cardboard piece. Pinking shears. So it's cardstock with pinking shears. And then she did the same thing with the fabric and decorated it like that. So let me go grab my pinking shears and find these other two items. I'll be right back. Okay, I happen to see this just sitting there. So I think I'm going to put this here. So I'm just going to trim it down with these awesome pinking shears from Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. Oh, those are so nice. <laughs> very, very nice. First time I've used them. I just love that. Okay. 
was there. Okay. And she stiffened it up with a piece of paper. Um, let's see what I have here. She even used green, so look at that green paper. I'm going to use these for fabric and ink. paper. Sorry, didn't didn't quite finish my thought there. Oh, I need to get our, we got some more roast yesterday, so I was going to uh, pop them in the oven after Clint chops them for me. Okay, I think that would work pretty well. And then she has like a of the lace there. I'll show you. See, she has that lace. So, and then she made this into a pocket, huh? Okay, so let me see. I'm going to put too much glue on it just because it does kind of kind of stick. Or we'll see through, kind of. lace but you do want to ink you definitely don't have to ink it's just kind of my preference sometimes I, I ink all through my book and sometimes I don't it's just whatever I feel like doing at the time do it how, how you want to do it there we go that's cute and I used scraps from my previous journal, which is still available in the store if anyone's interested in it. There's a lot of work in it, so it kind of, the price was higher than I usually charge. But it's in there, or it is as of today, so. That is so cute. I don't know that you need the lace on it. What do you guys think? So you still have this little piece. It actually might look really cute. It's kind of got those little flowers there and I don't know who sent me this, but oh, I love it. We'll put it there just for grins. Because it's so cute and I really want to kind of recreate it as you know close as possible that's cute I like it she didn't I don't think she had anything actually tucked in there she might have might have had this one tucked in I don't know I can't remember so shall we make something though Michelle, you are such a cooper head. Okay, put that over there. Okay, so. Uh, she did make this card, which is so cute. She used another paint chip. Which I don't have. And then she put, um, I think it's um, encyclopedia paper or something on the back. So let's recreate that and see where we go from here. Let me see what I have. Um, still using up my scraps. So she just kind of, I was trying to figure out what kind of card she used. Oh, it's almost like a, I think 
looks like another paint chip actually, which I have none of. So, actually I do have some somewhere, but that's the problem. They're somewhere and I'm not sure where. So, this is an interesting paper. It's almost like a burlap. Wouldn't that kind of be fun to decorate? Is it one sheet? That's one sheet and it's really thick. So, I'm going to use that because have <clears throat> and we will just just kind of do that um, about four and three quarters by three and a half will that even fit yeah okay four and three quarters let's do four by three and a half no four and a four and a half by three and a half I just saw this laying here and I thought, ooh, that looks like fun. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, she did around the corners. Go ahead and do that. That's not the rounder. <laughs> I'm using the, the large side, I think. You know what? This may not even work for this. It's too thick. Okay. And my corner chomper is somewhere, but I think I'm just going to eyeball them. Maybe, geez. That's horrible. I can hear you guys now. Draw them first, Michelle, and then cut it. What fun is that? <laughs> He'd be out here yelling at me, wouldn't he? Trim, the, trim this side down because it's kind of messed up. Okay. <laughs> oh, you guys. So that's kind of cute. It is really um, bright. So let's, shall we just ink it? See, see what we want to do. Kind of fun too if you just pull stuff from your scrap scrap pile if you have a scrap pile if you don't buy more paper <laughs> from maddie over at spectrum art creations use my code and save 10 percent okay just thought i'd throw that out there uh we do need a butterfly so let me grab my butterflies I know I have butterflies, and I am using my Femur Keeper from Miss Betty, from Betty, she's on Etsy, Betty's Custom Designs, those are flowers, I have a lot of stuff in here, <laughs> I think I need to put like uh, little stickers on the front of them, ooh, that one's big and pretty, perfect. Betty did say that she's going to put more of these up, so she is working on them. So, if you're looking for one, I mean, that's almost perfect, isn't it? Yeah. For that size, that butterfly, can you guys see it? Let's put it here. Let me rearrange some stuff there. That's what we're kind of recreating. There's a bunch of white on here, so I'm just trimming it off. Somebody told me that they thought, or that they know that this brand, I can't remember what brand it was, but they got from the Dollar Tree. Um, we don't really go to our Dollar Tree. Just kind of out of the way, and so once in a while if I have to go to the phone, phone place, we'll go, but other than that, we don't really go in there. So 
I'm just trimming off some of that white. It was just a little, little too much for me. And I will still ink it. It just, there was quite, quite a bit of white, so sometimes I do clean them up. Come on, you. Oh, and these are little stencils. I just realized that. I do, not stencils, sequins. I never use sequins, do you guys? That'd be perfect. I used to use a couple of the sequins I have. This is fun, Robin. I love it. And I always go, or I try to always go around my cut images. Kind of makes them look more finished and you don't see that white. as much. Okay. But I love that idea. I think that's so fun. And she has it kind of like that. And she cut off this edge, but I don't know that I'd have to. Oh, and then she has a piece below it. Okay. Um, what piece do we want below? Ooh, maybe a watercolor piece, like a, just a piece of that watercolor. Not that one, maybe this one. Nope. It doesn't have enough on it. Ooh, perfect. Look at this. Yeah, we'll just do that. She used a paint chip, but like I said, I don't know where mine are. I pick them up occasionally and then. like that. Let's grab my paper. Ooh, let's use the brighter side. I just like the brighter side best. If you have a theme in mind too, it kind of, I think it helps with your ephemera and stuff. You know how we always do the math makes and stuff, but sometimes it's just nice to know exactly what your theme is so you can make things to kind of, kind of go with that. So about like that. That's cute. I expect this cardboardy stuff to kind of soak in the glue. I'm gonna put a little extra. I am using art glitter glue. There is a link below if you're interested in trying to find that. I'm not going to cut it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to. Unless it's in my way, but I don't see it being in my way right now. And she did put little, um, she did draw in the antennas. Do I want to draw in the antennas? Good, good night. We shall draw them in. Okay. Uh, sequins and button and thread. Okay, let me go get that stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got some sequins. I have these. Um, I don't have all those that she has, but these are little flowers, and I thought I could just use those instead. How long does it take to use up sequins? <laughs> Takes me forever. Um, let's see. I think I have this little... Stampin' Up tool. I was going to see if that would pick them up for me. Yeah, I think it will. I was thinking because they're smaller, so maybe like groups of three. So let's see. Yeah. I'm just 
I'm going to go ahead and put my blue dots. And then maybe here. Let's just try it. That way. I think this tool was from Leslie too. Is this the tool you sent me, Leslie? Two there, I guess. Plus, if I use more sequins, then I <laughs> maybe I use them up faster. Oh, I need one more. That's kind of cute. There we go. Kind of makes it more springy type, doesn't it? That's a fun little tool though. That works really well. Okay. Oh, so cute. Okay, and then I found this button. Sorry, and I have this twine I thought I would use. I don't think I'm going to do the back like she did because I want you to be able to journal on it if you end up with this. So I think the yellow. And she actually like pulled the twine through it and tied it, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. Can I do this without um let's see. She did it around twice. I'll try to start this and then hopefully I can use the button to kind of cover it up. Try it, try it. I do three just because. Got a shellify, huh? This is a cute little tag, though. I'm enjoying making it, you know. together and then I just liked this thread that was already in the button. I'm just gonna pop that there. So there we go. I think it's adorable. I love that. Thank you Robin. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Okay mine over here. I'll put this one back in here. And then she has this big tag. Just a simple, simple tag. So let's just see what I have over here. It's not the right size, but I think it would work. So let's use that. I think it's even, yeah, it's the same height pretty much. Let's use that and see what we want to do as far as covering it. With paper. I know she put like coffee dye paper on the back. Let's see if I have any right here. if this would have fit in that pocket. Let's cut it out and we'll try it. If it does, then I'll use it for that instead of 
what I was doing originally. Yeah, let me try that for my pocket because actually I'm too tall. Let's just put this in the pocket. I think that would work. So I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. And re-cut it again because, man, that's not straight. Okay, I'm the world's worst with scissors. I'm trying to cut something straight. There we go. So let's just decorate this one for that, and then we'll make another tag. And then we're almost done, aren't we? Can you believe how fast it's going? Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I love that. Pokey dots. I like that. For the front of the tag, I know I could go against the edge, but I just wanted this part of it. <laughs> I like the little polka dots on the front. how long ephemera takes to make, you know, just for, I mean, it's so fun, but it really does take a while. That's why it's always good to have some in your stash, because it really does take a while. <laughs> uh, that looks like it's not quite perfect, but you know what, it doesn't have to be, does it? so cute. I love that paper. Just slide that little guy in there. I might actually. We'll see. I might feel like adding something that helps you pull it out of there easier. Okay, so just the other tag. We could actually use this. <coughs> That's kind of fun, and that. that pretty. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to glue this together to make a tag out of it because it's so pretty on both sides and plus you could write on it. But it would give me the thickness I need. And I wouldn't have to put coffee dyed paper on it. Yeah, I could go this way. That's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Sim simple little bag here. <coughs> uh, I tell ya. Oh, I think I mentioned that I have... I got th frogs in my throat and somebody said it's not frogs, it's hairballs. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. <coughs> With all the critters we have. <laughs> I can definitely see that being the case. 
Isn't that fun? That's a fun little tag, Darcy. <coughs> Hopefully she's the one who sent me this because I hate not to <laughs> give credit, you know, to the person. To the correct person, I have done that a few times. so cute. Isn't that fun? I think I want it to be a little bit darker. Do I want to add some, um, I think I might want some of that one paper on it, on the front of it. Just to give it more interest. <coughs> this. Yep, that's what I want to do. You guys ever have those days where you just want to create all day long? I know Betty does because she's like, I just want to go home and create. <laughs> yeah, I think I like that better. I love that. Uh, shining through though, isn't that fun? sure where I got this. This was also, I believe, from someone in the, that sent me the friendship things. So I'm not sure where they got the paper, even though, I mean, it is fun to play with. Yeah, we're almost done with this page, but you know what? I think we're almost to our limit, too. I really like that. And then you can journal on the back. And so we'll have these two going in that pocket. Oh, isn't that adorable? I love that. So fun. And then this kind of brings in the top. Uh, on the front, I did have an idea for that. She, let me show you what she did. She just has this little paper piece right here. Oh, and I need to add that piece. Um, but I was thinking of a real flower because I don't think, is that going to fit? Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be that bulky, is it? Not a real flower, but a, uh, let me grab my flower book. Kind of more of a puppy flower. They're kind of watercolor colors anyways. So I was thinking maybe like one of these or something. This one. That's fun. I don't want it too bulky, but you know, I think you could definitely get away with adding some bulk. It. 
That's fun. That's the fun part about kind of recreating it in your style. You can add or take away whatever you don't want or what, whatever you do want. I feel like I need a little tag there of some sort just kind of poking out. So let me just see what I, see what I want to add. And she may have had that. I can't remember. I think she did actually. So do I just want to move this one here? Yeah, we could just do that, huh? That would work. And then you have this little tag in here, which I'm not happy yet with this. So let's go ahead and work on this one real quick. Put a hole in it. Make it just a little bit bigger. And put one of those eyelets, and it seems to do better. One. And then I think I'm just going to use some of this. Um, if I use the yellow, it'll kind of tie it together. I think in order for it to, um, I think for it to, because it kind of goes down in there, and you don't want that to happen if and later you couldn't get to it, you know. Come on, you. glue here that will keep it from coming undone. We have that page done. Do we have time to do another one? Let's just see what we have. Maybe we'll just pick out. Oh, look what she did. She almost did like a patchwork. Okay, I think we're going to pick up from here tomorrow. Oh, maybe I. Yeah, from here. We'll pick up from here tomorrow and then I'll kind of get like all my pieces I've already used in the journal or in this little booklet and we'll patchwork it together. Yeah, because I don't know how long I've been. It doesn't seem like it's been that long, but then it does, so. So I'm not sure. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon, bye.